Right, welcome on YouTube. My name is Dan. We are writing music here on Twitch, but we're also recording for you, YouTube. And I hope that you are having an excellent day, wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. What are we doing today? Right. We are going to write an EDM song. What sort? I have no idea. I know my tempo. That is all I know. I know it's like 94. And I know I want to go into Anna 2, the synth that is sort of included with the Slate Digital Bundle that is made by Sonic Academy, because I feel like that is a super underrated synth, and I super love working with it, and I want to get in more into sound design and stuff like that. Why are we doing that? I promised that we're going to start doing the Doom 2016, Doom Eternal sound. And uh, we are going to do that, but as the next song. Why? Because I need to sort of rework on my sound design chops so for our for like my band's second album it, it was sort of an industrial rock types uh, um album and i did a lot of sound design but it's been like two three years and i haven't done a lot of that since then so before i get into that i'd really like to sort of try to learn more sound designy stuff to make my own synths and all my own sounds and make some some wubs and stuff like that your your dubs and your wubs and your and make some fire beats yo uh, whatever and um we'll um we'll take it from there yeah so let's go into my daw and there we have it it is cubase my daw of choice cubase 10. i know they have a sale now for upgrades actually and it's um it's uh what it's it's reduced and it's like 40 50 ish euros for uh, for upgrading from cubase 10 to cubase 10.5 but again i'm super used to this i and like i i don't think there's i should i should change right now we will see so you can see like i have a blank slate pay no mind to these intermission songs and do tell me if the cubase is coming in uh um properly on stream i hope you can see what i'm doing over here one other thing i fixed the alert box so now if you hit that follow button or anything we should actually hear it on stream i probably won't hear it but i will see it popping up hopefully that'll work properly anyway what so i have a a a clean slate over here right it's totally blank this is how i start i like to work in 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 when i work in like different genres or start a new project uh from scratch or stuff like that. i like to start with a clean slate no template no nothing we are going to define the sound the composition the structure everything according to the project that we're working on from the beginning because i'm a big proponent i love the fact that our Lord and Savior Mick Gordon said this in a behind the music, uh, behind the music for Doom. He said this that basically change the process, change the outcome, and I super super agree with that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our group tracks, and I think this is important to kind of uh, like if you're new to making music, I think it's important that you see the whole process. So not just. A lot of people just show you the interesting bits or just sh show you the the sort of the the money bits right so look i made this cool sound and i'm writing this this orchestral piece and it's super cool but i'm a big proponent of seeing the whole process from beginning to end that's why i show you my mixer that's why i show you um that's why i show you setting up my temp my my project not using templates all of that because it's important to stay organized color coding uh organizing stuff naming stuff that is super important and it's going to be a big part of what you do yeah and they don't show you the the 50 the 50 times where they failed and deleted stuff oh nenad gaming is hosting me thank you cheers so thank you so much so what are we doing right so um we're setting up our group tracks. I'm just gonna create ten. I know I'm gonna. Um, so I know I want to move this intermission stuff down here. My first group is always gonna be my master bus, right? Make that a lovely shade of blue. Right. What else am I going to need? I know I'm gonna need. So and these are all st stereo buses, right? I know I'm going to need um, uh, grouping for my drums, and that's just gonna be. Um, gray i know i'm gonna need a group for my lead synths synthesis 
synthesis a group for my pad synths and a group for my bass. Now, I'm still sort of torn about having the bass be stereo or mono. Usually, I just make the bass mono just so I don't mess about with anything and I keep my low end mono. But for this, we are actually going to try some, some tricks to make sure that our low end is mono, but our high end is still stereo so that the bass sort of wraps around in the high end and plays nicely with all the stereo content that we've got going on, but we shall see. Um, our lead synths are going to be a lovely shade of purple, our pad synths are going to be a lovely shade of dark blue, our bass is going to be a lovely shade of green, and just organize them in the sort of order that they come in, right? The other groups we're probably going to use for subgroupings and stuff like that. Oh, which reminds me, I need to create my folders. Folders, super important. You have them in Reaper, you should have them in Ableton, you should have them in every DAW that you use. If you don't have them, change your DAW. No, I'm kidding. Use the DAW that you like. We're not going to get into that whole DAW argument, no. We are here to be positive, to have fun, to write some cool music, hopefully. Let's see what we can do. Right. Folders, super important. We get, we're going to have our drums folder, we are going to have our synths folder, we are going to have our lead synths folder. Come on. Yeah, and I also like to capture, like, if something doesn't work out, screw it. Like, see it, watch it. The best DAW is the one you can work with. Exactly. What do you use fishing for sound? Just just curious, like, what, what do you work in? Especially when doing, like, choir stuff and, like, in instruments. Stuff. I... Now, this is a silly question because I followed you earlier and I should have looked at your video. It seemed to me something like either Cubase or, or, or Ableton or something like that. Yeah, and it's important that you work in the DAW you're most comfortable with. Right, let's subgroup those. Let's move the sense up. Let's move our base folder up here. And why am I not grouping my my uh why am i not putting the groups in the folders you're probably asking because um i, tr I try to treat these as buses like you would on a, on a traditional mixer right you have your buses over here towards the end or something and you just move the faders around um and and i'm gonna do like a lot of processing on them so if i change something on the group and i want to change something to the master i can just like do it over here super quick no fuss no must you are a reaper guy thanks to the customization yeah man like reaper is amazing to me we use it for we use it for live stuff like if we're rehearsing or we used it in the past for live shows and it's super stable it's super clean i i can't get into customization yet because it's over my head for now at least so yeah um, and I'm going to make a folder of other stuff. And in the other stuff, we are going to actually move our intermission songs. We are going to move the groups that we don't use. We're going to move the folders that we don't use and just collapse that. And now super clean. Yeah, cool. Right. So let's start from the tempo. Why have I chosen a tempo? Now, there usually I'm a big proponent of not working with limitations. Therefore, not working with creative limitations, at least because... You can see that um, I start from a blank template, like no template. But having just one creative lim limitation, I think really helps me to focus on what I need to do. I do not need to worry about my tempo. I know that it's going to be 94. And how I got that tempo is basically I listened to two songs from Monster Cat and sort of tapped out the tempo. And that's going to be... Uh, and it came out to about 93, 94. One of them had in the in the um verse it was slower to like 86 87 and then in the chorus or the drop it went to 94 um and um that's uh, and that's all i know well i have some ideas of what i want to do stylistically and since we're making a sort of edm-ish track we know that we're gonna have a verse a build up, a drop, and then a verse, a build up, a drop. I might put in like an extra chorus and maybe some, some bridges or something like that. Now, I am not a big EDM guy. I listen to a lot of EDM music. I love the Monster Cat stuff, but I don't usually write EDM. So 
you might say no there are rules to the genres and the things and whatnot and but yeah but it's music so we're just gonna do whatever feels right to us right you're saying that you're a reaper guy thanks to the customization yeah yeah the sleekness might be a weakness the sleekness might be a weakness <laughs> nice rhyme there as you don't get any samples or instruments to work with yes but at the same time there's a lot of free stuff as we've shown as we've shown previously and we're going to show here too because i'm still going to use a lot of the free stuff that i have um we actually have a lot of plugins to work with in the free realm a lot of super complicated plugins and a lot of simp super simple plugins and all of them sound great so with like a minimal investment you can have a pretty good sound going up like getting you can have a pretty good song up and rolling super quick and the fact that that uh reaper is super cheap is also a big thing like with a hundred bucks investment in software you're good to go really all i have bought is the slate stuff and the ggd um and some samples indeed some samples because you gotta have your samples even less 60 dollars for the non-commercial version yeah there you go there you go so yeah it's super cool right what do we need we're gonna need some drums let's start up with a drum loop right the first thing that we want to do i want to add in some group tracks and we're gonna mono our kick and our snare so i'm gonna create two mono subgroups for our kick and our snare and these two will actually have to go to the drums bus so let's go up here to our routing and this is another thing this is another pet peeve of mine show me your your gosh darn routing right you got a lot of like i see when i when i watch like professional high level mixers they've got a lot of routing going on they, they sort of explain it but they explain it quickly even if they show you they show you just a part or super quick or something like that dude show me your routing right when you're doing some crazy side chaining or some crazy effects explaining to me while you're in the middle of the song is not gonna help me right so what we're doing now is we're creating subgroups for our kick and for our snare we created them in mono because we want to make sure that we have um that we keep them mono in the center so that way they translate into all the other devices because that's another thing and a big question i've seen on um on reddit and stuff like that is that how do you master for all the devices in the world the and the short answer is you don't the the slightly longer answer is that you keep your main elements mono if anybody is listening to like is listening on a phone or something like that you know being cool listening like this or whatever the, the heck kids are doing these days if your vocals your bass your kick and snare are mono you will be fine and make sure that your bass has high-end content right the high-end attack so that it translates and then you're fine you're super fine it's not that's super simple but there's a tip for you thanks to composer cloud or stuff like that the price of entrance is super low yeah exactly exactly i was actually considering i'm still considering that composer cloud thing i really want it so bad but it's hard to justify right now anyway a guy made super cool comprehensive list of all free vst instruments sorted by type yes please thank you oh my god i am bookmarking that hold on i i know this is super content for, for youtube and i've been talking a lot but let me just save this link because uh fishing for sound is awesome and i'm gonna bookmark that jeebus that's a lot of instruments bookmarks bar do it awesome super awesome thank you thank you fishing for sound you are super cool right so we've got our kick on our snare and now let's just add in some samples like i know i want i want two types of samples to start out with hey michna how you doing boyo have you f I'm, I'm shouting too much sorry sorry i'm super hyper i'm drinking <laughs> i'm super happy and super excited how you doing boyo um i know i want two types of kicks two types of snares to start out with i want a chill kick chill snare and i want a hyped up banger drop q 
kick and snare. And we're going to start out with just four samples. Keep it simple. Start out simple. We can then elaborate on our kicks and our snares, sam uh, uh, kick and our snare samples after we've got our basics done. And let's move everything into our drums. Let's, again, uh, we're going to go with chill kick, drop kick, chill snare, and drop snare. Right? And we're just going to route these to our kick and our snare groups. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But again, I think this is important to show off. Um, because again, if you're starting out, I've, I've seen people ask on Reddit so many um, times, like super basic stuff that you kind of assume. Roti is following. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Did that alert sound come in? I hope it did. How are you doing, Mikna? How is your Saturday going? Six viewers. Okay. Okay. Pressure. Pressure. It's fine. We got this. Right. So let's get our chill kick go uh, and our, our chill kick, our, um, our chill kick and our chill snare going. Let me just, let me just move this over. <laughs> right. My music samples. So, for our, the drop kick and the drop snare, I know I want to use the Samplified Awaken. No, the Samplified Future Sessions. It didn't... Oh, come on. Why do you do this? That's weird. It should have come through. I'm going to look into that. Kick. And there is... Hello. I didn't hear the alert. Gosh darn it, I'm sorry, I tried, I, I fixed it, like in the pre-stream it was working. Like if I test it now, and again, this is super content for you, <laughs> but I, I don't care. Like test, follow. Did it come in now? Okay, this is our, nope. Okay, weird. That's weird. It's showing up in my in my Streamlabs OBS that it, it should be coming through. Well then, well then, I'm sorry. I'll try to fix it. I'll try to fix it for the future. It's weird because we I have to capture my sort of DAW as well, and that's basically one. It's sort of taking up the whole the whole uh, what you call it? the whole sound system in a way. I need to find a better way. I'll probably switch to OBS to straight up OBS. Right, so we have our kick, we've got our snare. We'll just write a quick pattern so that we hear how they're interacting. No sound, but only the image shows. Gosh darn it, I'm sorry. But Rotti, 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 thank you for joining. Thank you for following. This is super awesome. Right, so I know that I'm going to have, like, let's just hear our kick and our snare going just for a little bit, just so that we can... Okay, that's definitely not the pace I want to go in. So it's going to be more like... Okay. Um, right, so this is these are going to be our drop kicks and our drop snares. I want to... Is everything going to my master? No, it is not, unfortunately. Also, tell me if like the sound is too loud or something. I'm going to send everything to my master. I do not have my master bus set up. You will, you will see me write my like set up my master bus as we go the first thing that i definitely want to do is i want to set up my mastering limiter just have it on for now because and i'm using slate's fgx because it's super awesome um because i want to make sure that i'm not clipping or anything right you can see i was clipping a little bit over here going to like over going to 0 0.5 now for my chill kicks and my chill snares now mm, this this tempo might be too fast, but we'll see how it goes. Import. I know I want... Um, let's try the Awaken pack. And these are from Samplify. They're like two bucks a pop. And it's like super cool. Drums and percussion. Kicks. Electronic layered wheel. Electronic. I like that for my kick. Okay, and for my snare, let's get in a chill snare over here. Let's get a snare. Let's get futures lo-fi.
Eh, eh. They're too lo-fi for my... Futuristic. You know what? You know what? I do not want actually... Let's, let's put in a clap. Futuristic. Do it. I like that one. Okay. Let's get that in. Chill snare. And I'm gonna... Well, it's a chill clap. It's not a chill snare. I know, I know. Semantics. It doesn't matter. It's supposed to go pop on the... <laughs> Second and fourth beats. That's what we care about. Let's see how that We'll layer some stuff. We'll make it better Hey, Rod, do you like the Doom Eternal pick right there? Yes, it is actually It is the and uh, I should take my own advice It is the Doom Eternal art book actually Holy moly. Yes. Yes. Yep. Damn! Yes, it wasn't cheap, but I could not resist. I could not resist. We could not resist. We're huge Doom fans, me and Iridian Seeker and I. So we just we just had to have it. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I'm jealous. <laughs> um, don't be jealous. Mikna has followed. Thank you. Don't be, don't be. It's just stuff. It's cool stuff, but it's just stuff. Right. So, we have got this going on. Right, let's just set up a little beat for us. Now, we need to work on our chords, right? So the first thing is that I want to bring in another group. And I saw this, for, I saw Daniel James do this stuff. And I think it's a pretty good idea. I'm just going to create another folder called Extra. I'm going to make it red. Just so it pops out. I'm gonna create another group called extra. Group extra. S make this red as well and send it to my master bus. Right? And what we want to do is to figure out some chords. Yeah? So we're gonna do that with a piano. Best way to start, right? Seven viewers. Yikes. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And what I'm using for the um, piano over here... I'm gonna use Keyzone Classic. It is totally free. Um, and it has some cool sounds in it. We'll make it sound a bit cooler as well. Do the thing. There you go. There you go, buddy. Let's move this down to our folder, shall we? Let's make it red. Let's make it actually blue, because piano should be blue. Piano. Um, we are going to use the Yamaha Grand Piano. We are going to put some effects on it, just so that it's not that eh. You know? Um... Let's put in a compressor. Does it have... I'm going to use this stock Cubase compressor. Ballad piano. Pressed piano. Pressed piano. Yeah, that works. Unfortunately, we do have lag. But we're, it's, it's going to be fine. Verb Suite Classics. Um, I'd like... Not the repeater. Not the repeater. Not the mama. Keep. Uh, Verb Suite Classics. Discard. Um, let's just get a reverb going. Because you know how I like my reverbs. If you've watched my stuff in the past, you know how I like my reverb. Piano played key, key ambience. Key ambience. <laughs> Let's turn. Okay, cool. Right, so I do have some chords in mind. I tried them out on my guitar earlier. And we're gonna see how that works. So we're gonna try to write some chords. We'll see if they fit with the tempo. So it's gonna be like, Something along the lines of, if I remember properly, bear with me a little bit, it's gonna be like F sharp. I know that much. It's gonna be a D. And another D. And up top. Up 
top we have an A. There you go. Mm, 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 mm. Something like that. So let's. Mm, 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 mm. Right, and that's going to be basically like an A major. And one of the th cool things that I'm trying lately is just not think about keys that I'm in. I just write whatever comes naturally. Yeah, guitar is my main instrument. I've got it right here. It's going to be featured it's going to be featured a lot more on my on the doom sound doom doom sound video that we're going to do it after this we finish this song it is a seven string jackson uh misha mansour uh, signature a pro series so like the cheaper one um um pog I'm hyped now. I'm hyped too. I'm super hyped. Like I'm, I'm going at a million miles an hour. My, my brain is already hearing like the final song. This is an issue. Like I don't know if you guys have this, but I can already kind of hear the final song in my head. But I am... I have to start off small. Let's, let's just get our chords going, yeah? Uh, so it's gonna be like an A major, which means... Yeah, we're gonna have the A, E, A... C sharp. And then we're going to try an E major. I think. Was that the chord progression I had in my head? Let's... That sounds super cool. That sounds... Oh my god, I finally got the EDM progression down. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Dude, that sounds cool. Nice. Okay. And to make it an A major, we need to put it... We need to, to put it like a G sharp in here. But what key are we in? I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm just gonna play around with these notes and see. <laughs> no. No. Um. Hold on. This is an F major. Hold on, I need to figure out on guitar. Again, since I thought about this on guitar, it's kind of, it's, it, it's, it's iffy for me. So basically what we're doing is, and I don't think this will come through, but basically what we're doing is like... A it's gonna be like... Okay, we need to start from the F sharp. I know that much. <laughs> that sounds a little bit like da -da 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 face cam with the guitar. Yes, that would be a good idea, but I didn't want. I don't want to spend too too much time with the guitar because that's not the point. We're gonna spend a lot of time with the guitar. It might be. It could be E major. I think it's E major. The same thing. Robin G Musics. Hey, welcome. EDM for the first time, eh? How's it going? We are just starting out. So, welcome. I hope you, you enjoy what we're doing here. Basically, I have the chords, and it's the first time that I actually make some chords that sound EDM-y. For some reason. I don't know what it is. I think it's you guys. I think it's you guys being here. Like, I'm super inspired. I think I think the issue was that I was I, I I usually write in minor keys. I think I have to write in major keys for it to be suitably EDM-y. Let's repeat it. Mm-hmm. 
Oof, oof. But wait a minute. If I'm starting from A, D, F sharp, why does that D sound terrible? Oh, because I, oh, I'm changing keys on the fly. I'm changing keys on the fly. That's what I'm doing. I think. In EDM, you'd always layer the snare clap with the kick too, so it's four on the floor rock beat, basically. Yes, exactly. We are going to get to that. I'm just, I've just put in a, a sort of kick, a clap, just so that I start out and I know that this is not the drop, this is just going to be the intro. And I'm just writing the chords now. We are going to get to the sounds and the mixing. Yes, we are. No. Oh, we need to go to the E. That's, that's it. Okay, and this is this is our basic loop, right? So this is this is what we're gonna start out with, right? So we're gonna have Cool. Okay, we have our chords. We can actually start writing this thing. So what I want to do is um, fade in everything. I think we'll get to sounds in just a minute. So let's start out with a pad and we're going to LFO it so that it has some motion. So let's go to our pads over here. And again, I want to use Anna 2 as much as possible. Let's, let's dive into this uh, track. And a two, let's make you uh, suitably blue. Let's send you into the pad synths and you are going into the pad synths. Right, uh, another thing is that I want to turn down my drums. These will be fine. My bass, I'm going to turn down. And I'm all, and now I'm doing gain staging, kids. So basically, Robin G Music says follow. Thank you. Thank you. That's super awesome. And thank you for being here. And I hope you have an awesome Saturday. Because I'm having an awesome Saturday too, like I'm making music with you guys. How cool is that? Really? I'm like super hyped. Okay, so um, we are doing gain staging now. Another concept that I don't think... I, I've never seen it explained in a way that I've understood it properly. I've sort of, I've, I sort of intuited it so far. So basically, I'm creating headroom for myself by turning down everything to start out with and making sure that over here my RMS is around minus 20 and my peaking is around minus 8. Because then when we turn everything up and it's going to be like super loud, we are going to be in the proper space where we can turn things loud and it's not going to sound distorted or anything. Just a sec. Right. Oh. Okay. I don't want to use presets. Although uh, there's something to be said for using presets when you're just writing the thing. But we're not going to do that. We are going to turn this down a little bit. Okay, and we're starting from a basic... Boring. We want to create a pad. Now, if we want to create a pad, let's get some waveforms going. And I want to go to the digital and I want to try to use these... F <laughs> okay. Vox A. <laughs> yeah, Robin, yeah. Um, yeah, these aren't going to work properly. Let's see some saw, some synth, some square waves might actually do what we want them to do. Let's use the, let's see the soft. So it's going to be something like... Um, I know, right? I know, right, Robin? Okay, let's put up some more voices. Let's make it like a super sauce type thing. Um, that doesn't sound like a like a saw like like a like a pad yet. But trust me, I've done this before. What we're gonna do? I could and I could use actually the the filter in Anna too. So I want to make use a simple analog Raleigh. Uh, no, I want a low pass on it.
okay let's put in some drive and let's give it some motion and i'm gonna actually move with the pitch course and let's see how that sounds so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the chords up just so that we know what we're working with um i'm going to what that might be too much we're gonna make it sound good guys i promise and if we don't make it sound good we're gonna change it it's fine it's fine don't worry about it don't worry about it it's fine um so our notes are gonna be what it's gonna be like oh my god i can't i can't work with that <laughs> that's just silly okay hold on um i need the the depth to be like chill like really let's try it just just a little bit just a, just just a little yeah, there you go. There you go. Just so that it has that sort of analog feel. Um, right, and gonna. Okay, but I want to take these down a notch, and we're gonna we're gonna create an ambience out of it in just a minute. Okay, that sounds super silly, I know. Hold on. Super massive, super massive. Let's let's make this a loop while I work on it and what I'm doing okay what I'm looking for what I'm hearing for so I want to take out the sort of chip tuny vibe out of it that is definitely not something we want and we're going to do that with uh, some simple filtering where are you my kilo hearts lovely filter yes to make it pump so transgate it is you're off for now preparing some food any idea how long you will stream today yes i will stream for eight hours for <laughs> what oh no i will stream for four hours um so we still got like three more hours to go so don't worry about it fishing for sound have yourself a lovely lovely meal bon appetit and um we can catch up later or pff, next time or the VOD will be up and I will definitely upload everything to YouTube anyway. So don't worry about it. You you will hop on later. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Jew hiss! Cheers! Hello! 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 Welcome! Welcome! We are writing EDM for the first time. It's gonna sound super silly until it sounds good. <laughs> like, this is this is something that I don't see a lot like from EDM producers when they're doing tutorials and stuff like that. They usually start out with pretty good sounds, but I want to see like how do you take the sounds that you have, that you can only afford now basically, and how do you make them sound good? And that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm trying to learn how to write EDM. We've just figured out our chords, so it's gonna be like... Okay, and we're just setting up basically our intro. So this this attitude like this attitude synth is just gonna start out. I'm trying to get a feel for it. Hmm. You know what? What if I turn... You know, the, there's a slight problem with the way we've got our chords set up. I was kind of envisioning something else. And I wonder if I turn these down. 
Okay, I like that, but what if I turn these chords into something a bit lower? So basically what I need to do is I need to do an A, uh, an E major, right? So I'm going to do this. Uh, actually, I'm going to put the G sharp here and the B here, as well as this B here. What does that sound like? Uh, piano, do you want to work with me here? That's a bit more subdued. For an intro, I think that works a lot better as chords. Um, what genres have I done? Big, uh, big Jew, big Jew hiss? Is that is that how you read your name? <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, big, big hiss. I'm gonna call you Big Hiss. <laughs> is that fine? If it's not, tell me. <laughs> anyway, what genres have I done? I am basically a metal dude. Um, long time ago, I used to do metal. And recently, I've been working on synthwave, more and more, and more electronic stuff and orchestral stuff. We already finished a song on stream. It's called The Escape. It's up on my Yup Tubs. It's um, and you can like catch this all the whole stream there. And I wrote orchestral synthwave, just try to mush together two genres I enjoy, which is like synthwave and uh, orchestral cinematic music. Turned out okay from what people are telling me. So. Okay, and that tail I don't think we are going to use in this in this intro. I'm not super happy with that tail. It's a bit too dinky. It's a bit too uh, happy-go-lucky. Again, I'm more of a minor key sort of guy. So let's let's hold our horses a little. Can I just mute you? Can I? Can you? Can you just not? Like I, I really, really am disliking these these keys here, um, these notes here. Okay. Okay. Now let's get a sound going for these, right? So I've, and maybe having a sound will actually help me to sort of con concretize the, the, uh, the, the, the composition that I'm trying to go for here, right? So I know I, I've got a D, then I've got an A, so I've got a D major, A major, then E minor, right? Um, and to sort of make that work properly and stay in the same register that's what i wanted to do really yeah it works for me okay now what we need to do here is um, we need to fade in these drums. We need to make the, these drums pop a little bit more and to make them like fade in a bit nicer. Um, right, so for my kick, what are we going to do? We are going to go to our frequency. We are going to do our basic stuff, which is basically like we're going to create... Why are you mono? Oh, because the kick is mono. Fair enough. Right. We're going to cut out all of the extreme low end that we don't really need in order to make our 60 hertz kick pop. Let's... And let me just sort of solo these while I work on them. We did, we covered this already, sort of, so I'm just going to go a bit quicker this time. I'm just going to solo... Take out the frequencies where the bass would sit basically just and the snare and just boost a little bit the high end and actually i think that is a much better so let's see Right, it's a bit more tamed, it's a bit cleaner, I can work with that. And of course, what do we always do? We clip our drums. We're gonna go to J-clip this time. Clip directly, soft clip. Not too much though, these, these need to be a bit... Uh, 
right a bit it's it's still a bit too much though like it's not clipping in a, in a way in a like pleasing manner so i think i think we might not just not clip them they sound pretty good on their own so i'll just leave that as it is and it's fine like you don't have to do everything all the time right right let's go to our snare so our snare doesn't really have any low end but that's gonna be fine because we actually are not super interested in the, having a lot of low end on this snare here in the intro because we want we want the drop snare to be like super aggressive right let's boost a little bit our high end not too much not too not just just so that it's a bit more tame let's see yeah that's a bit cleaner Okay, we're going to put in reverbs and all of that stuff. No worries there. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to bring up my drums slowly, maybe with a filter or something. Actually, a filter sweep would be nice. We always love our filter sweeps. Let's go to the filter, right, and probably do something like... Right? something like that let's go over here let's create some automation for it i'm gonna need two tracks and basically what i'm gonna need is the kilohertz filter enabled as well as the kilohertz hearts filter cut off right that's what i basically want to do and again the kilohertz stuff is included in the slate bundle not sponsored i just love you using their stuff so why not tell you about it right this is something a little bit like this <coughs> excuse me ah okay uh, so I need it on and then I need it to turn off this filter really needs to be more aggressive okay we're good there now I need something like I need a hook here I need a hook here usually you do that with piano so right um, also I need to set up my side chain right now let's do it let's do it let's just do it why not do it compressor bam set it to side chain mode there you go set the attack to be spot on set the release to be super short there you go there you go there you go uh ratio mm, 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 mm. let's set it more aggressively because we know that this is we are doing edm therefore everything needs to be like pumping all the bloody time sends and we're gonna do a kick send to the side chain for why am I writing this? I don't know. Pat, we're going to send it to the base side chain. We are going to send our kick to the lead side chain. We are going to send our kick to the pad side chain. There you go. Done, done, and done. And already our kick is super present, yeah? We'll probably turn that down again. It's just the intro. Right, and we're going to do the same with the snare as well, so it has more space. And again, the bass, the bass, the lead, the pads. I think I need to turn on the air conditioning, guys. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I'm sweating bullets right now. Cause I'm, and I'm super nervous about doing this. Because so <laughs> I've never done this before, and I'm doing it on camera. I'm learning on camera with you guys, so... Okay, cool. But I think we need to stay on one note. So what, what key are we going to write in? We're going to write in E then, I guess. I guess we're going to write in E. There's, there's something to be said, though, about writing. So hold on just a sec. So face cam time. 
So there's something to be said about writing in a minor key and you can make that sound pretty happy too. So for example, if I were to, and I'm actually, and I don't know if this will come into the mic. I don't know if you can hear like the guitar or anything. The point, and I'm tuned to drop F on the seventh string. So bear with me here. It, what if I, so the progression I wanted to use for the intro is a bit different. Um, I wanted to go This will be the actually the progression for the chorus and for the intro I was thinking Oh no, actually I could use this for the intro so I could do the intro with like And then for the chorus I could go uh, what? I could go like... Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna shift gears. And you guys, and you guys can actually tell me if you think these chords sound EDM-y or not. So, let's change a little bit our chords. What? Uh, I'm gonna move these to the sides, and <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? We, this happened to me on the first song as well. I had some chords prepared, then I started streaming, and I didn't like those chords. And I just wrote something totally different. Welcome to music writing. Nothing is final. Even when you slap final on the end of the, f of the file. Right, so let's go back to the Cubase scene. And let's try these chords. Let's actually write it from B. I haven't written in like... Wait, so my guitar is tuned to drop F, which means what? So like this... What, what actually chords am I using? Because I like those chords, to be honest. Like what? It's in G. I think G is used for EDM usually. So screw it, let's write in G minor. I can make G minor sound happy, I can make any minor key sound happy. Um, so it's gonna be like... G and let's go to 16th. Um, and we're G, F, E, D sharp. No, I didn't do it properly. No. It's supposed to be the D. I need to give it the D. And then just move over to the uh, F. Yes. Right, so. How about that? And let's write the actual chords so that you guys can actually understand what's going through my head right now. So I'm starting from G, that's going to be the G with the uh, D as the fifth. And we're going to move the fifth up. We're going to do some wackiness over here. So it's supposed to be a G minor. That means we're going to use the A sharp. Then it's the D ma D sharp major, which is going to be like with the A sharp, and it's going to have the what? The G again? Well, that was that was easy. No, this is actually the D. This is actually the D. Never mind. Ign don't pay no heed to to to. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a pleasant sound. Right, and then you go up to the D. I was super excited about those chords starting out, but eh, it's just not resonating with me. There's something super weird about my taste. They're like super specific sometimes, which there's something to be said. I listen to a lot of music. There's something to be said about having wider taste, but eh, when I'm writing, I just, I needed to, I needed to, to be here. I needed to be here. If it's not here, it's very hard for me to write it. That's why I can't do, I can't do like comedy. That is the most difficult genre for me that I've ever had to write. And I had to do some, some music for some student films a few, quite a few years ago. And they told me like, write comedy, think about Seinfeld. And I was like, what? What is, what? I mean, I know Seinfeld, but I can't bloody write ha happy comedy music. <laughs> what? 
I don't know. So the chords sound like this. Which I think is is still kind of used in EDM, like. Right? Sounds nice. Cheers, Night Gaming. So what do you guys think? Like, do these chords work? Do these do they sound s suitably EDM-y? I think they do. I think they work. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Right! Then we're good. Cool. Also need to play with the volume of the drums. Those need to like be a tad lower. This is a problem for me as well. Like I always do my drums super aggressive in sound, no matter what I do. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of iffy when I have to like I need to I need to start off with a chill sound because it needs to be at least have the sort of chill step vibe in a way to start out with, and then. It can like drop and be super aggressive. Okay, so we've got our chords. We're gonna move them over here. Now I need to write them in a manner that is uh, is slightly more more chill, right? More down tune, more not this not this happy, right? So I'm just gonna like copy paste the. the 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 piano that i have there move it down okay and i need like a tail for this right like that I like that but maybe turn this up a tad I like that quite much actually okay Cool, 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 cool. Now I need to sidechain the piano as well. If this piano is gonna go in, and I think it's gonna go in, unless I can make a cool lead synth. Let's see, let's see what we can do in Anna 2. So I'm gonna go and do a lead synth and do add it in. Um, did I actually send it to my lead synth uh, group? Yes, I did, yes, I did. Let's turn it down. Let's not explode our headphones right now. And I want to take these chords Put them here, make a super saw, but make a chill super saw. I think that can be achieved, so I'm gonna name you to chill super saw. Now, super saws are easy to do, as far as I can remember. I just need a saw wavetable, and what I'm going to use is, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to go to the digital. Do I have any saws? No. Analog. Saw. Let's use the uh, saw soft? Let's give it that retro AV vibe. Let's put in voices. Like. Wait, I need to in it. Sorry. In it. Waveform. Let's do the saw. Where are you, Juno saw? Jupiter saw. Soft saw. Really soft saw. Let's do voices, and you do a ton of voices. And there it is. There's your super saw.
I think that's that's sounding pretty cool. Now, what I want to do is that I want to do something sneaky. So I want to go and create like another. I want to go to oscillator two, and I want to pair it with like a box standard saw, but like a, another soft saw. But I'm gonna go to the oscillator mix and slowly bring that in. I want to go here to my modulation, and I think a lot of the battle with EDM from what I can tell, and again, I listen to a lot of EDM, I've listened critically, but I've never done sound design in an EDM sort of uh, setting, so we're gonna learn together. Um, one of the things that, that makes EDM really stand out is that it has a lot of... Um, what? It has a lot of, uh, of modulation uh, happening and, and, and automation happening, so it... You really need to vary your stuff. You can't just make a sound, plop it in, and Bob's your uncle, right? Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, off to fame and fortune, I'm a Vici now. No, you can't do that, right? You have to, uh, you have to do a lot of automation and make it like super interesting for the listener, right? At least that's what I, what I understand. Insert effects, bro. Oh, I need to set it to my modulation, so I need to go over here in Anna two. Go to my macro. Go to my mod. And sort of add here oscillator to volume. Macro one. Right. Macro one. And rename it to oscillator to volume just so that I know what the heck I'm doing here. So theoretically. This should bring in oscillator two, which again is going to be a super saw. Let's see if that actually works. So I'm going to go to my oscillator mix over here and see if that works. Something like that, but it's not, it's not working pro uh, properly. It's not changing my volume for oscillator two over here. Hold on, let me... Hold on, hold the phone. Actually, it is working. It is doing what I want it to do. Cool, so I need to go over here to my automation and set this to the Chill Super Saw. Go and find Macro 1, Mod Envelope, G Envelope, ARP, EQ, Filter, Insert, Send Effects, Macro 1. Right? And what I want to do is slowly bring this in, but not too much, just so that it sort of does a thing. Also, what I need to do is I need to make the attack not be so like super aggressive on the filter. So let's set that up. Cool, and I think we need reverb. That just makes everything sound nice. So, um, hold on just a sec. Uh, I need to, st I, so usually when I do this, I create a reverb track for each type of synth. So I've got a, a reverb for leads, I got a, le I got a, a reverb for uh, pads and stuff like that, because they're kind of different in how I want them set in the, um, in the audio field, right? I want the pads to sit at the back, I want the leads to be more up front, and I want the drums to be super aggressive. We need some snare verb, that's exactly what we need also. So I'm gonna create a new effects track, I'm gonna make sure it's stereo, I'm gonna use verbs with classics, although it's debatable whether or not this is what we need, but we'll see. I'm a big fan of the super massive reverb, but it's gonna be fine. Lead, verb, and I'm gonna give it the hot pink color that I quite enjoy for these types of things. Keys, I need an epic synth space. It's fully wet and I need to send this chill super saw to it. So we're gonna go to the... what? Outputs? No, we're gonna go to the lead verb.
Now, what also we need to do is we need to make sure that our compressor over here is, is doing its job. So, here's one thing to remember, kids. <laughs> kids, why do I keep saying kids? That's silly. Here's one thing to remember, people. If you're using the stock Cubase compressor to set up your sidechain and whatnot, do not, and I mean do not forget to turn off the makeup gain. Because what that's doing is I'm ducking the volume and then Cubase is raising it back up. Well then, right. Cool. And the same goes for the for the pad synths. Wait, where'd I do it? The pad synths, yeah, let's do it here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what else do I need? I would really appreciate a pluck coming in. Right? Um, we've been going for an hour and it, I, I don't think you've seen anything spectacular yet. But trust me when I say this stuff is gonna be fire, yo. I hope. <laughs> um, excuse me, I would appreciate my drums to keep going, thank you. And I will make the, those claps pop more and add some reverbs and make everything sound nicer, but for now... Right. Right, let's get some plucks in. You're gonna go into pad synths, and, into, and this is gonna be like our intro pad and our intro plucks. Let's name them again, super important. Name your stuff, know what the heck you're doing. Right, and for plucks, let's go to our waveform. Let's set this up. So what do I need? I need like a saw. I need like a... a Saw. Do I have like a Jupiter saw? Yeah, this will this will be useful, and I need to turn it down because we don't want to explode. And again, I did not in it. Do the in it. Thank you. Don't forget to do the in it, Dan. You can do this. So saw Jupiter. Cool. But we need to sort of make a sort of aggressive attack and release. So it's like, but that's not doing it. So the amp thing, I think that's going to be what we need. So Let's uh let's put this to the pitch fine. Okay. But my ADSR is not doing what I like to do. Is it because I need a filter, an analog filter? I had like well this this is uh this is quite something. Hmm. So I need to Turn this into a plug. Let's do the mod as well. I need I need you to be like super short, man. Let's turn it up a little bit. Voices detune with shape filter one. Yes, volume. Let's retrigger. Right. So where are you not? She should be short. This should still work though. 
let's see and we can we can do it with effects if it's if it doesn't want to cooperate with me now it's fine we'll do it with effects and with how we write the thing um so it's gonna be like Right, and this is going to be our, basically our ARP going through it with a lot of atmosphere. And we need to cut it out so that it's... A note just decided that it wants to I've decided I want I want to die right no why are you not okay I see so it was the fault of the user definitely not the fault of the program yes yes <laughs> this is such a dinky sound we'll make it sound cool hold on Can I just loop you? Thank you very much, please, and thank you. There you go, there's your pluck. Okay, now we just need delays on it. Can we do it within Anna 2? Uh, let's just use our, de our, our our delays over here. So I would really much appreciate a ping pong delay. We can do it. Nah, that's not gonna work. It needs to come in a little bit off off the beat. So if I go to Okay. Now we need some cool reverb on it. Give it a minute. Spashy synth. Let's drive it. Let's drive it. Let's give it some... some we can do with it to make it sound cooler Let, let's bring in another oscillator so we're gonna go to oscillator 2 i'm gonna give it like again six voices Let's open it up just a little bit. It's a bit too short, right? It's a bit too plucky. So it needs to be like this. Right, right, okay. Okay, I can work with this. Let's... Can we drive it a bit more? Let's just put some distortion on it, man. I feel like it's missing distortion. 
Extortion. Um, clipper. Clip it. Is that not the stuff? And this is not going to the right group. I just realized this needs to go to the ch side chain. Come on, Dan. We need to make that snare louder. That's what we need to do. We need to make that snare pop. Let's do it. Let's get some clipper on it. Right, so let's hear the whole build up. Okay, something like that. I need to cut the video for YouTube. It's, going, it's been going for like an hour and 20 minutes. So we have a start for our song. Hope you like it. Um, I've been super quiet and I usually talk a lot. Like anybody who, who, who's been and uh, who like has watched my stuff, you know I talk a lot. That's because I'm super focused and trying to get something that sounds good, not only for your benefit, but also for my own. So um, we will continue to work on this. <clears throat> So uh, I'm going to cut for YouTube here. Cheers. Thank you for watching.